We're now going to customize all authentications templates. Go to the following URL through GitHub. Click on All Auth Templates Accounts. These are All Auth's default templates. Click on signup.html. Now click on the Raw tab, and you're going to want to copy all of this code. On GitHub, the end of the URL for signup.html is templates slash accounts slash signup.html. We want to have a similar file structure as all authentication. Open Finder and in SRC Profiles Templates, create a folder. Call it Account. Create a new file. Save this file in account as signup.html. Next, copy the code that we got from GitHub into signup.html. We'll use crispy forms to make the signup form look better. Open contact.html and copy load crispy underscore forms underscore tags. To apply crispy forms to the signup form, we're going to paste that code onto line two. Next, delete as underscore p. To make the submit button into a bootstrap style button, type after button class equals btn btn dash default. This can be found on line 19. Now save signup.html, open up Chrome, and refresh accounts signup. The form and the submit button look a lot better. Like we did with the contact form, we want to center this. Open signup.html. Under content block, add division class equals column middle four followed by column, middle offset, 4. This can be punched into line 9. Then make sure that you close the division tag, which you can do onto line 22. Remember, in Bootstrap, each row consists of 12 columns. Save signup.html. Go ahead and open Chrome and refresh accounts slash signup. Now this form is only four columns wide. This form is also offset by form col four columns on each side. Bootstrap is responsive, so the form will adjust with the window size. Go to accounts slash login. We want to make this form look better. So create a new file. And then save this file in account as login.html. Go back to the GitHub link. Click on login.html. Hit the raw tab and copy all of the following code. Again, open login.html and paste all of this. Go back and open signup.html and copy load crispy underscore forms underscore tags and then Open login.html and paste that onto line 2. Go back to signup.html and copy division class equals column middle 4 from line 9 and then open up login.html. Paste this between block content and the following header one tag. Then we're going to make sure that we type a division close tag under the form close tag. To add crispy forms to the login, in form, type form, crispy. This can be found on line 38. To add a bootstrap style button, type button class equals btn, btn dash default. This will be found on line 43.
To make a forgotten password into a bootstrap style link, type after a class equals btn btm dash link. You're going to find this on line 42. Once you've completed that, save login.html, refresh Chrome, and go to account slash login. The login form looks a lot better. Log into your account. Then go to accounts slash logout. This page still needs some work. So create a new file and save in profiles templates account as logout.html. Go back to the GitHub URL. Click on logout.html. Again, hit the raw tab and copy all of the following code. Open logout.html and paste the code that you just copied. Open signup.html and copy the division class that's found on line 9. To give the logout button a bootstrap button style, type class equals btn btn dash default as we had earlier for the login button. You're going to find this again on line 18. Once you've completed that, save logout.html and refresh Chrome. This time make sure you're logged in. So go to accounts slash logout. The logout form is now smaller and has a bootstrap button. Now these all authentication forms look a lot better. We want the navbar to link to these all authentication pages. Go back to the GitHub link. Once you're there, go to all auth slash urls.py. It looks like the URLs are included from account slash urls.py. Go back to the last browser page. Click on account slash urls.py. We need the URL names for the login, logout, and sign up URLs. We will use these URL names in the navbar to link to the pages. Open profiles slash templates slash navbar.html and scroll down to where the navbar drop down menu is. Here, we're going to adjust for login, sign up, and logout. This can be done on lines 24 through lines 26. Make sure that you relink to the newly added pages. Once that's complete, save navbar.html. Go ahead and refresh Chrome. Make sure you are logged out. On the navbar, click account, login. Enter your details and go ahead and log in. From the navbar, click log out. Okay, great, the navbar is working. If the user is already logged in, the login and sign up link shouldn't be in the navbar. Open navbar.html. Above the login link, type if not request.user.is underscore authenticated. You'll do this on line 24. Next, make sure to add else on line 27. And lastly, on line 29, add end if. If the user is not authenticated, the login and sign up links will be in the navbar. If the user is authenticated, then the logout link will be in the navbar. Save navbar.html. Refresh Chrome. From the navbar, click on account. Because I'm logged out, the login and sign up links appear. 
log in to your account. Then, from the navbar, click on Account. Now the logout link is here.